What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Do here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Day Robot Tripper Trigger. Well, wow. Trigger Happy Havoc. In today's episode, we have to deal with something called a triple. So let's open that E handbook. No, we don't need to open that. Let's get our skills right. situated. We have 17 points, so we can add another skill. Ambient influence costs four, but increases the influence gauge by five. Um during the class trial. I don't need this. I have envious. Finish preparations. Biakia help us out. So I'll rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong, wrong one. one. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now, I think it's Tina. Where I to think begin? It's Hina. We already know who did it. Tina. Whoa, deja vu. The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was <laughs> idiot. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Hina seems really sure that one of those three is the killer, but she must have had some reason in believing that. I don't think we're any new mechanics, so we just got to kind of deal with what we got. Toko's account, Aoi's account, and Biaki. Oh god, I gotta remember. Okay. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. You have for accusing us? That's low. Reason you have for accusing us? Ah, the white noise is actually getting tougher now. I'm gonna guess. One of you accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. I'm struggling already. It was one of what is refutable about that? You have accusing us? That's oh my! I'm gonna have to start using the influence gauge or the the gauge here. One of you using us? That's low. That's about it. That doesn't make. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. Ah! reason be because you uh, you hated her is that it that doesn't make any sense hating is not <laughs> that's the only reason you have for accusing us nice there we go no, it's wrong. i knew it i knew what i was going for i just struggled to get there okay got it another reason you suspect them is because sakura wanted to meet with them right yeah and that was right before she died so there's no doubt about it one of those three killed her. I can't disagree with Hina. There's a good reason to suspect all three of them. Does that mean that one of them did it? Okay. There we go. I, uh, we got there. I knew where I was wanting to go. Footprints in the powder. Status of Sakura's body and pocket trash. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them. There's no way that's not suspicious. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. No, that's wrong. Hiro, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. That it was. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? 
That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... well... I mean... Yeah, sure, I got it from her, but... But she gave it to me forever ago! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her! When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so... I must have got it... Some time before then! But what Hiro said can't be right, because Sakura could have only gotten the candy after the incident happened in the nurse's office. And the reason I know that is when Sakura got the candy. I got it. I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You have been involved in everything You're so far. You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! More hostility. It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Huh? P proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. What shining message must that be? Of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? W well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Huh? Hold on. But when Kyoko found the magazine with the dying message, it was... I got it! Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Everything's doesn't on Hiro. What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes <laughs> sense. Oh my god. Is he... <laughs> Did Hero really kill? And he can't defend himself whatsoever because he's too fucking stupid? <laughs> I remember when I said I really hope it's Hero that kills. This is great. If this is actually, if Hero actually committed murder, this is so great. Oh. <laughs> into every pitfall there is oh my god okay come on hero keep doing it keep falling in the pit off oh my god okay dying message status of soccer's body in the pocket trash pocket trash is out of the window so what's this it's probably the status of the body okay i can tell you exactly when i found the dying message when ogre's body was discovered and i can tell you when i found the dying message it was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. No, it does not. It's how do I refute it? it was discovered. Shoot. I have so much health, I can just... I can take risks, honestly. I can tell you Ig's body was discovered. Ah. No, okay. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the mag. An ogre's body was discovered. 
No, that's wrong. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation, and you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, hero. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? Because you could have made it. All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Okay. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? I don't think she did. That's why I've had no suspicion of Taka or Toko, Toko the entire time. Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. Nope. Nope. 100%, without a doubt, she wrote it. Nah, and this uh, is me uh, talking, uh, so you know it's true. Uh, 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 uh. Moment of truth. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. The end is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. Whoa, whoa, oh my god. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30%. Oh crap. Right. Ah. I'm off the time. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Show me the proof. This should prove it. Oh, 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 oh my god, that that was stressful because it I literally got it got so fast. Uh, okay. Moving on though. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. I mean I was pretty sure of that too. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? Then who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. Absolutely. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? B because... Because I killed her! You're admitting to Please. killing her? Just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon. Just you just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I have a couple of other people to meet as well. Okay. Would you Would you like a piece of candy? It might help, you give, uh, it might help you give you some energy. Oh, sure, thanks. That's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. She was going to kill me and make her escape. So, of course, I freaked out. And then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I, I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you. You're the worst. I hope you die well that's what happened go ahead roast me boil me do whatever you want you're not gonna get off that easy it's death death for the one that killed sakura we're ready to vote now right we know who did it no i think there's more to hero's story 
What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. Anyway, that's not the point I was trying to make. Oh, I was up. I was like, "Oh, that's continuing." <clears throat> Why the magazine was hidden? That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message? Then stick it somewhere we might not find it. Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying. He's gotta be lying. I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? Hina. If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who wouldn't have liked what had been written on it. There's only one choice. I got it! It had to be Toko, right? What? Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Does he write, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait, but more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? But what if Hiro didn't actually kill and Toko Hero finished him off? Admitted it. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's, but that's not, not where the not case, where ends. case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time. Like, you attacked Sakura. I attacked a shy soul and said it cannot be a male because of the feet. So, Toko, confess right now. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. Toko! How are you? That, hmm. Yellow powder, yellow powder, yellow powder. It's on there. It's on there. Yes, 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 yes. To, but I did it. Yellow powder. I just passed I it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind. Before she That's true. Anything. That's true. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer. Then it's not that. It's the um. Oh God. Uh, there was two hits. I didn't want to, but status of Sakura's body. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I hit Ogre from behind. That's true. She could do anything. You hit her from behind. That's true. You only hit her once. Is that? Yeah, just once. Crap! 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 After the first win. I gotta speed this up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. No, no, Toko. I didn't want to, but I grabbed him on a coup and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. Once. No. After the first swing, the bot and see, Hero really is the. Come on! I just am I'm terrible at my aim. Is the problem? Once. There we go. What? Before she could do anything. There we go. No, that's wrong. If Sakura died from Hero's single blow, 
That doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Somebody two else. wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious wait, about those wait. bottles. Oh my god! Why didn't I not notice that? Oh my word! The queen's missing too! I just, in my head, yeah. Oh my god, I am so upset. The queen is missing. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must Oh be my used. god! How did I not I I, in my head, I was like, it's the chess pieces. But I didn't think, the, the power brings her! Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? God Dang it! I was right there the whole time, and I just didn't think about it. Oh. We found pieces of a bottle on the ground. Right. Along with the chess piece it had inside. And we found the knight piece, which Hero used, but we did not find the queen piece, which Toko that hid. Was the bottle Hero hit Sakura with, right? Oh my God! How? <sighs> I. For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six? That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. If the correlation between the Monokuma bottles is starting to become clear, the correlation must be the chess pieces. Simple as that. Wait, what? Oh, wait, that's right. Oh my gosh. No! He. I. That's it. The Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knight, if I remember. So, what's that ma I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. I got it! The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? 
if it wasn't this. I got it. Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. <sighs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did... They must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There's no doubt there's a second missing Monokuma bottle that was involved in the case. It must have been used by... I got it! The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? <laughs> and there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait, I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but but there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did. Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear. But maybe she found somewhere to hide. Or hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous! Ooh, why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin! That's not ridiculous at all. There must definitely proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. New element has been added to bullet time battles. Yes, I figured we would. So far, you've been pressing the Y button during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention when you're finishing your final blow. Y now, you'll have... To have to choose proper tooth bullets to dur use during the coup de gras. You'll select it the same way you do with non-stop debate, simply by pressing the LB button. Also, kind of like the LB de debate button, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bu bullets to choose from. But, for your educational purposes, we're going to pretend that you're set to mean regardless, just this once, okay? By the way, you are about halfway through the game now. Go you. Well then, good luck and have fun. Halfway? What? It's a lie! I admit nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. It's a lie. That's enough. This should prove it. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? They must have been hiding in there 
and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toka? No, it doesn't. Okay, then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura! No, I swear, there's no way! Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well... That's awkward. So, after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around... <laughs> There was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! When I saw that blood, I fainted, right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Hurry. Haha, <laughs> get it back! It was your fault after all! My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me away. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. Well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... you're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Faith's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! So that's good. You keep talking like that, and Hina's gonna. Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Huh? I thought for sure that he, she'd have other words for hero What's on wrong? that one. Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No, not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. it wasn't. Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish is my command, darling. It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is. Make your argument. Taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I woke up! I 
I killed her there in front of the shell. No, that's wrong. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. This has to be it. The evidence that proves that there was a tag in front of the magazine shelf. I got it! Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? No. All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now. Look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Huh. So she just hid in there? Till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and heck... No, I don't think that's possible. I got it! Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. <sighs> okay, then. Where was she hiding? I don't know. What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And? W well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we really be missing something important? There's another possible explanation, maybe it's... The yellow powder. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. Anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? From Genocide Jill's attack? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack... God... Can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. I can't think of anything other than the shot to... No, that's wrong. Just in time. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit the candy. blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knee! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can explain it? Of course. 
If you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well... Yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Th is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections, A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? The bottle Yoga showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. I got it! The poison was actually in Section A, wasn't it? Huh? But you just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. W what do you mean? I mean this. I couldn't believe it with my eyes. Biaki put the bottle of poison to his lips. Huh? huh? No. We were so shocked at what we were seeing. All we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Biaki was calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Biakia, scraped out a bit of contents with her finger. She touched the finger. And this her is. It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it. The bottle of poison is actually filled with protein powder, which would only mean conveniently the poison must have been put in it. Could it be? Hey, man's gambit. Whoa! A protein drink, that's what it is. Oh. And and where are you? They added layers. Oh, shoot. Now I understand. And only Hina knew about that. <clears throat> the poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched, so the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know? 
I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped Absolutely. the mixture. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. left behind in front of the shelf that's the evidence you're talking I visited the chem lab this morning and there were definitely no footprints there at that point they must have appeared around the time of the murder which leaves no doubt that they're connected what's more the footprints were in front of section a where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will... All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sneakers, huh? The only people wearing sneakers. I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you... If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it, can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. I'm bouncing around because I'm going to show you guys the text. I gotta put it on screen since this is an editing episode. I gotta show you the text I sent to soul. Let's go! Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden now's my chance to kill her that's what you thought right that's when you switched out the protein powder and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture and then she downed it all at once and hold it i'm not convinced you're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend are you you still don't get it do you the game we're playing here isn't so kind honeyed words like friendship don't matter here what matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves, just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery. And I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, th that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not 
Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious, too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So... I I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd like to know, too. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay, then. Go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just... First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. But if that's true, the footprints don't match. Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. No, that's wrong! 